Shane, you guys were coming off a, another road win in the conference. What were some of the challenges uh, that Jaden Delora and the Wildcat offense presented to you guys? Yeah, uh, their quarterback was really elusive, man. So he was he was moving around a lot and you know, creating a lot of plays with his feet. So I'd say probably that was our biggest challenge. Um, just getting him down and keeping him contained. Lincoln, uh, Coach Lincoln he was talking about how some of, some of the guys were maybe not getting staying in their lanes and then they kind of recognized late um, and how, how the gaps kind of close yeah. and go. Is that what you guys saw on film as well? Yeah, just, um, you know, guys being more solid in their rush lanes, guys being able to, uh, you know, have their matches and, and coverage and be able to, if you don't have a match, you know, go bring up the quarterback and things like that. Just being more fluid and, and more uh, more alert to those kind of things. The Arizona receivers are making these crazy catches. How do you guys uh, make sure to keep the morals high with the cover and then they're just making crazy one-handed catches? Yeah, I mean it's football at the end of the day. Like both, you know, both teams are gonna make plays, and I mean that's what makes the game great, right? Like you got great players on both sides, um, but they made some amazing catches. And, I mean, all, all you can do is uh, you know get back up and give it your all again. You know, like it wasn't bad coverage at all in a lot of those instances. And, um, you know, guys are in great position. Um, guys just making a great catch too. So uh, just get back up, man. They're not letting anything like that get your confidence down. You guys came out in a, a kind of a new book playing the majority of the Arizona game. How, how comfortable did you feel with the with the experience? Well, it was good. You know, we had a couple of weeks with the bye uh, before last week to you know get some of the stuff installed and work on it. So. It was a good change up. It was a good switch up. Put a lot of guys in the, in the right places. Oh, yeah. places. When you guys went in the locker room, obviously there was some stuff going on from, with the officiating. You had to, you know, you, have, you knew you had to come back out and defend again. What was your mindset at that time, knowing that the offense didn't get a chance to get some points up on the board? Yeah, um, honestly, like, that stuff really didn't cross our mind. It was more so just you know, going on playing football. Like we got you know, two halves. And the biggest thing after the first half is you got another thirty to play. No matter what happens. You know, whether you can control it or not, like you still got 30 minutes to play. So just going on giving that 30 all you have, you know, just collectively as a team, doing it together, doing it the best you can. You can say that he didn't have to say much to you guys at halftime. What was the energy like from your perspective? Again, just another 30, like go out and attack it. Uh, there's a lot of stuff you can't control in a game. And, like that's just the nature, like that's life in general. And so you can't, you know, you can't hang your hat on and stuff you can't control. You just got to rely on what you can do. And that's your effort, that's your focus, and that's your business, things like that. What do you think of Bryson Shaw right now? I think that's expected, man. I mean, he's a hard worker. He comes to work every day. He's the same person. You know, he puts his heart into it. And, uh, man, he's a great asset to have on this team. What have you seen on early film for Cal so far? Um, yeah, they you know they like to run the ball a little bit. They have a lot of uh, they're like they're a good team. You know, they they play well together and things like that. And so um, just being sound, being disciplined, you know, having good eyes and things like that is really important for us as a defense. Do they run a type of scheme that could possibly show off? Your, your skills a little bit better than maybe going against a team that likes to pass the ball? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think they run the ball a lot more than you know, we've seen last week, but um, you, know, you never know what we've seen on Saturday, so just trying to ready for everything. What are you most looking forward to about your first homecoming experience at USC and getting to like, return back to the Coliseum? Yeah, honestly, like every week, I just get excited to take the field. My seniors, like, we work hard, you know, week in week out, and you know, we only get so many games. So stepping in the Cali, it's so special, man. I, I can't even take it for granted at all. How do you think to see me in this first time? So he played awesome, man. I mean, he's another guy who just works his tail off, and you know, he's there for the team in any way he can be. And, uh, I was happy to see the success that he had. For sure. I missed, I missed Were you on the field when he had the game? Yeah, we were on there together, yeah. I didn't even know until you know, he told me like, after the fact. I was like, it's out. Like, it's out the stage. Like, yeah, I was like, oh, wow. Yeah, that's, that's different, bro. <laughs> Could you do that? Tackle guys with a finger coming out? Not out the skin, man. I broke my finger and finished the series, but it wasn't out the skin. It was, it was broken. So you've been out here now for eight games, coming out here from the SEC. Any regrets? Obviously, no regrets. But what's the, the, the biggest difference you've noticed between playing the SEC and playing the Pac-12? Biggest difference. Um, I don't know. It's still football, right? I mean, anywhere you go is going to be a little different. I didn't necessarily know what to expect, or I didn't really have an idea of like what this was going to be like. Um, as far as before, as far as styles of play, it's, I mean, you know, it's still football. They run the ball, they pass the ball. You know, there's, there's good players on the other team, there's good players on their team. It's, I don't know. I mean, the, the big, the biggest difference is everything outside of the sport. So 
I guess just the environment that you're in. And I'm not trying to put you on the spot with this, but do, do you sense that you can play a little bit more physical in the SEC than you can here, at least maybe the officiating? Oh, yeah, I mean, I think the SEC is definitely known for its physicality. Um, do you sure. think you get, you get penalized for that, though, for you know, having hard hits? And... I mean, I think that's just referees, you know, you know, case by case basis. You might get a ref that let you, you know, do something another ref won't. I don't really know. Just see when you get there, I guess. Uh, Tuli was saying that, you know, being a leader is not necessarily maybe the most comfortable role for him to step into. How have you seen him over the course of this season oh, kind of still fill that role? Yeah, he's been awesome. He's been awesome. So he's a like he's a he's a cool cool guy man like he doesn't necessarily he's not your you know raw raw kind of guy but he finds ways to you know be a leader in, in every other way that's so important and you know he fills those little gaps that guys miss all the time and just his his focus and his intention to detail as far as trying to be there for people and you know fulfill that role even though he doesn't want to be you know standing up in front of everybody and talking all the time it's like the way he does it I've, I've never seen it done like that and I, we we wouldn't be who we are without Tuli for sure. Thanks, awesome. Shane. Thanks, Shane. Thank you.